Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn how to upload videos to the AWS S3 bucket in React Native. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here I'm going to pick the videos file. So this is the video files. Okay. So I'm going to upload any of the video file. So here you can see that in the console that the file of the video currently taking time so video files is uploaded okay and let's check the AWS S3 bucket so here we have the bucket and let's check the video files so where is the video file this is the video file make it public and check the same video file is there make public ACL public object so let's go and check this one mp4 file and here we go with the object and here you can see that the video file is there the same video files right so this is the video file that we have uploaded okay let's dive into the code level how we have done this okay so so this is react react from the react view button alert from the react native we have using the react native document picker and the aws sdk Okay, so these two packages we have to install into our project directory. Then we have a AWS config update. So this is the access key secret keys and the region that we have to config for the AWS. It is required. If you want, like where I get this one, you have to check my previous video. You will get to know about the SS key and the secret SS key. Or you can search SS key and the secret SS key by a technical region. You will get this one, how to get this from the AWS S3 bucket. Okay. Then we have to initialize the S3, new AWS S3, then upload files to S3, bucket name, file name, and the file path. Then we have a params that we have to send while uploading, that required for the S3 upload function. Okay, so we have to bind this one and send this one, this here. Okay, then we have the pick files function. So this is document picker which is going to pick multiple. If you want multiple, then you have to pick multiple, else you can add the single files also. Okay. So document drives dot picker because it's bind into the array, so it it pick multiple files also. Okay, so you can also use the single if you want to upload only single files. Okay, then this is a bucket name. Then the list of files that we have. Okay, that will go into the for loop, and we are going to process each and every file with the file name and the file path and the file data. Okay. And then we have to upload file dot s3 function where we have to get send bucket name, file name and the file data. Once file uploaded, it will show you that the file uploaded successfully else it will show you the error. And if the file is not selected or something you have done, press the back button, then it will show that the error file selection canceled. Okay. And the last part that is the UI button with the on press pick files. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.